Hello my dear friends and uh, followers, happy that you are here. Um, today we are going to speak about uh, fuel, fuel in an uh, aeroplane. So as you know, uh, airplanes can fly uh, with one engine fail, even if it has a fire you can shut down the engine, extinguish the, extinguish the fire and uh, it can fly with some uh, system uh, inoperative, some malfunction, uh, however, however, it must have fuel in its tank and without fuel uh, the engines cannot uh, work, it will shut down and the plane will uh, glide to the ground and hit the ground. So pilot uh, must make sure that they always have uh, enough uh, fuel for the remainder of the flight. Um, today I'm gonna speak with you about an accident happened uh, at uh, 2016. Um, it was uh, accident happened in South America with an Avro RJ85 was flying a football Brazilian team from Santa Cruz in uh, Bolivia to Medellin. So um, this flight has a history, but uh, the final leg, the accident uh, leg, would uh, end up with that the plane was run out of fuel and crash, and most of the passengers and crews died, unfortunately. So generally, this flight is supposed to depart from Santa Cruz Land in Medellin, which is uh, roughly a 1,600 miles leg. Uh, this plan in this particular configuration and uh, payload has the same uh, flight distance uh, fuel wise which means it can fly for like uh, 1600 uh, miles so uh, definitely this is not a legal uh, flight uh, to perform and uh, that's why they plan uh, a refueling uh, stop on the way to refuel in an airport called uh, Kobija. It's a small airport uh, in the northern border of uh, Bolivia. They're supposed to land there, refuel and continue the flight. Uh, that's supposed to be the plan. It's a good plan. However, uh, departed, uh, they departed uh, late and uh, night was coming and this Kobija airport uh, was closed for the night and uh, unfortunately they could not uh, land and refuel over, day, over there. Yeah, there was some plan to refuel in Colombia, but uh, anyway, at the end they decided to, to fly this leg without a refueling. That was a bad decision, a bad planning and illegal uh, planning. And this is the beginning of the chain of events that uh, end up with this plane uh, crashed. Anyway, so they filled the tanks, max fuel, of course, and uh, they departed uh, Santa Cruz. Start flying this flight like for an hour or a little bit more flight and uh, approaching uh, Medellin in Colombia. Uh, it looks like they are going to land and uh, be safe on the ground. However, always plan for the unplanned. So while approaching the airport, the Medellin airport, uh, another Brazilian uh, airplane came. Uh, it was an Airbus 320 for some company that uh, declared emergency. It has a fuel leak, uh, also a fuel issue. And uh, these guys declared the emergency and got uh, priority. Uh, the accident plan, of course, uh, asked to go into a holding pattern, uh, which you have to wait. Uh, they didn't have the, the fuel and they start uh, getting stress. And um, after a few minutes in the hold, they understood that they must put this plan uh, on the ground. Uh, they approach uh, to land, they declare that they have some kind of fuel issue and they lowered the flaps and gear quite early, too early and fuel was run out totally from the tanks 
engines, so it's four engines aircraft, and the engines shut down and the plane crashed in the mountains in this uh, Medellin in Colombia, uh, killing most of the passengers and uh, crew. So uh, this flight was of course uh, not legal and didn't have the uh, legal uh, uh, reserve that require for each flight, which is generally the taxi fuel that you need to taxi to the runway the trip fuel which is the fuel from a region to destination uh, which they might have but more than this you have to have the root reserve which is another five percent from the tree fuel for uh, unforeseen event diversions and stuff like this and then if you cannot land in the airport that you plan to land you have to have fuel to go to divert to the alternate and um then thereafter you have to have the MLF, it's the minimum landing fuel, it's the last fuel, the last 30 minutes, 30 minutes of uh, fuel, uh, which you must put your uh, plan on the ground before you go below this uh, MLF, the minimum landing fuel. If you go below this minimum landing fuel, you must declare an emergency, mayday, 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 but we will uh, talk about it. Anyway, speaking of fuel and uh, coming uh, low on uh, fuel, so there is uh, three things pilot need to do uh, when from that reason or another it coming uh, low on uh, fuel. So first stage. First stage is awareness. Awareness, you have to tell everybody to the controller and the aircraft around that you have kind of a fuel issue it's first not an uh, it's not an emergency declaration uh, but everybody know the situation and I'll give you an example uh, many years ago I was a young captain on the not that I'm so old now but I was younger uh, I was a young captain on the 747-200 it is the jumbo the old one and I was doing my first flight as a captain from Europe to uh, JFK. Uh, we did it as a flight called with uh, Flight Plan B. It's kind of a legal flight which you reduce the route reserve on a legal way. But at the end of the day, you're approaching your destination airport with a really low amount of fuel. Legal but low. Anyway, approaching the airport and uh, getting ready for the approach, the controller tell me, Okay, go for holding over uh, Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. It's a VR called Calvaton VR due to some uh, traffic here. Uh, this situation make me quite uh, stressed and I'm telling uh, awareness, telling to the controller, it's kind of a CRM with the controller. Look, uh, I don't have much fuel. This is a 747 coming type B from uh, Europe. And if you not let me in, in like uh, five, six minutes, I will have to divert to my alternate. Um, controller understand the issue immediately and say, okay, got you, dude, uh, stand by, heading this and that, uh, clear to intercept the localizer, clear for the approach, and uh, we landed safely with uh, the legal uh, reserve. Uh, second story about awareness uh, was doing even uh, earlier. Uh, flight with the Dust 7, it's a four engines, two above from Alicante in Spain to Gran Canaria in uh, Canarian Island. Uh, due to some military exercise, I have to divert from the original flight and go this heading, that heading, coming up to a situation uh, which uh, the fuel coming uh, low, still with the legal reserve, but uh, coming low. Approaching the airport, I'm calling the controller quite early and telling him, look, uh, any delay expected for our approach? Uh, no, no delay. Okay, would it be possible to get a straight in without a full pattern? Controller understand immediately. Yes, no problem. Clear this and then clear to intercept and land. And we landed safely uh, with the legal reserve and, and all was good. But there was awareness, awareness to the controller, awareness to the other pilots that we have a fuel issue. Uh, if uh, from that reason or another you're not getting the priority to land 
and uh, you are coming uh, close to be on your MLF and uh, not below but close to your MLF minimum lending fuel the last 30 minutes then it's an official declaration you go to stage 2 which is uh, declaring a minimum fuel this is not an emergency this is not a made declaration but still you legally letting everybody know that you uh, must follow the plan and land and this will bring you to the ground with your MLF or a little bit more. Any change in the plan uh, will probably make you go below your minimum landing fuel and you will have to uh, declare an emergency. And I will tell you a secret, most of the pilots don't like to declare emergency because then you have to give a lot of explanation later and fill a lot of form and what the normal pilot I think wants to do is just to land safely go to the hotel go down to the bar and have a nice cold beer obviously so but anyway if you go below your MLF uh, you must must declare an emergency mayday 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 three times and um, you will get a priority and everybody will make sure you put your plan on the ground ASAP and going back to this accident uh, flight, so they actually, of course, they departed uh, not legal and this was the first mistake. This flight never supposed to go on the way on that leg. But anyway, they took the wrong decision and departed. Now they are flying. They have approximately a fuel that it's like the tree fuel. It's enough for the route. Exactly. No reserve. Maybe a few minutes. Uh, approaching the airport, uh, they didn't uh, use the awareness, they didn't let everybody know that they are have a fuel issues. Uh, later on, maybe they need even to go immediately to the third stage, that's second stage, declare minimum fuel uh, if they are going to land with the MLF. But I guess with the amount of fuel they has, they didn't have uh, even the they will go below the MLF on landing so of course they supposed to declare an emergency mayday 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 which immediately give them a priority for land and put them uh, on the ground ASAP uh, with the minimum fuel left in tanks but they didn't do it or they did it quite late and when they start talking about fuel issues it was already late and fuel ran out of in the tanks and four engine shutdowns and uh, the plan uh, the plan crash so um to summarize so awareness minimum fuel mayday 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 if you are going below your mlf but it's all started with a good uh, planning. Always have to plan to have the fuel uh, requirements and legal fuel on board, uh, which is the taxi, trip, route reserve, alternate fuel, and MLF. This uh, secret last 30 minutes that you must uh, put your plan on the ground below you go, before you go below this number. And if you do, you declare an emergency. That's it. Uh, a little bit about fuel and uh, planes and pilot. Hope you enjoy it. Um, telling you bye bye here in my hotel in China. Waiting for my next flight. Have a lovely evening. Thank you guys.